I'm gonna show you how to add an app icon and a splash screen, which is adapted for a boat light and a dark theme on Android and iOS in a Compose multi platform project. Stay tuned. With an increased popularity of a Compose multi platform framework, we Android developers need to learn how to do certain things in an iOS environment even though we share the code base. Here I have prepared some uh, graphic assets that we're gonna use for an app icon as well as a splash screen. First, we have an app icon which contains the logo itself, as well as the background color. And on the right side we have a logo without the background and uh, just the background. Because in Android environment we need to specify an app icon that consists of uh, two layers, foreground and the background. While on iOS part, we don't necessarily need to add those two, only one. And the one on the bottom is used specifically for a splash screen in Android. All these assets here have a size of 124 in pixels, except the one on the bottom which has 240 in pixels. For the Android part, we can export those two on the right as a SVG, while the first and the last one as a PNG. Ok, so let's handle an app icon for an Android platform first. I'm gonna open up this assemble project that I have generated with a KMP wizard. This project is built for a Compose multi-platform by the way. We can open up the Android main source set. Then resource directory. And inside that directory we can open up the drawable folder. After that just right click, then select a new image asset. And after a new window appears, we need to select uh, both foreground and the background part of our app icon. Afterwards, you can reduce the size of the foreground layer so that uh, it can fit the little grey circle in the preview panel. Which indicates that uh, your application icon will look perfect on our different devices. Great! If you launch the application now, you will immediately see a new app icon. Perfect! Next comes the iOS part, so we can launch the Xcode environment. After that, open up this uh, same project, uh, only in this case do select the iOS app directory instead. Then inside the iOS app folder select the uh, assets. Here you will find an uh, app icon. So just select that file and you will see here a default uh, app icon on iOS. Click on that icon. After which a new window will appear where you can select a new app icon. We're gonna choose that PNG file that we have previously exported. And that's it. Now we can try launching the iOS simulator to see if it works. There you go, we can see our app icon. The next step is the splash screen. For the splash screen image in Android we need to follow certain guidelines or otherwise the image will be cropped out. This doesn't apply for iOS, however. The bounding box of the image should be 240 by 240. In that box we should imagine a circle on the center with a size of 160. And within that circle we need to place our actual logo image. Be sure to make your background transparent after that and you can also remove that circle as well. Now, feel free to export this uh, new image as a PNG and we are good to go. In the resource uh, drawable directory we can import this uh, splash screen image. In the Android main source set we need to add a dependency for the splash screen. Then we need to create an XML file in which we want to define a, a custom style along with uh, some other details about uh, the splash screen and its behavior. The parent of this style should be the theme.splash screen. Inside, declare the background color, then link that image resource file, and finally specify the original app theme that will be applied after the splash screen. Great! This splash screen XML file is for the light theme, however, which is why we need to create another one with a different night qualifier. So let's create here another directory with a night qualifier and we can paste that uh, same file inside it. Only in this case we can just change the background color and that's it. Great! 
Lastly, open up the Android manifest file and specify that a new theme as a theme of our activity. Also, don't forget to call install splash screen function inside the main activity and we can launch our application on an Android emulator. Great, as you can see, we can see our splash screen and it uh, looks uh, great on a both light and a dark theme. Perfect. Finally, let's implement this uh, splash screen on uh, iOS. Now, in iOS, we don't say splash, but a launch screen instead. Anyhow, we're gonna open up the assets and uh, create uh, an image set inside. We can call it Adaptive Logo. In the Properties panel on the right side, be sure to select the Any, Light and the Dark as Appearance option. For the Scales option, we can choose Single Scale so that we can upload the image only three times instead of the nine. Afterwards, we can upload the logo image for those three. In this case, since my logo doesn't have a background color, I will specify the same file for the logo itself. But in your case, you can even add the different images here. For light and the dark theme. This uh, image set allows you to specify a different image that will be used in the splash screen on a different theme. Perfect. Unlike with Android, the splash screen or the launch screen in iOS is a lot customizable. We can define many different elements and not just the image. But for the simplicity of this tutorial, I will add only one image. So, let's create a new splash screen or a launch screen in this iOS app directory. From here, we can remove this default text and instead we can search for an image component. After that, just drag this image component on the screen. And when you select this component, in the Properties panel on the right side, you will see that you can actually select your image asset. So let's choose that adaptive logo that we have created earlier. Now for the background color of this launch screen, we can choose a system background color. So that it automatically changes based on the current state of our theme. For the image itself, specify a custom size. For example, let's say 200 by 200. Then, from the Arrange option, choose to center the image vertically and horizontally. Finally, add some constraints on this image on each and every side. Perfect! We have successfully created the launch screen for iOS. Now, the last step before launching an iOS simulator, we need to open up the general settings. So, click on the iOS app icon and choose General. After that, scroll down below until you find the app icons and the launch screen section. From there, just be sure to link that custom launch screen that we have just built. And there you go! Now we can launch the iOS simulator and for a brief of a second, you will see the launch screen. Now I'm gonna switch the theme to a dark theme and try that again. As you can see, the background color on the launch screen has changed successfully. Perfect! Now, one thing that I should point out here is that if you're having troubles uh, seeing the launch screen uh, on the simulator, the second and every time, then you can power off this uh, simulator and run it again. That way, you can be sure that the launch screen will certainly show up. And that's it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Also, don't forget to leave a like to this video, but only if you find it helpful. Thank you for watching.